Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be looking at another stock that uh, Power of Publish has recommended. Now, uh, I'm going to be looking at NVIDIA today, and this is a stock that not only has Power of Publish uh, suggested, and uh, watch, you need, you need to watch that video. Uh, I'll put a link. I posted it a couple of days ago where uh, a guy on TikTok is he um, I re actually recorded um, when he w w was talking about certain stocks that he recommends. So I'm kind of going over them myself and seeing how they are on a dividend investing standpoint and an investing standpoint and an option trading standpoint. So I'm going to. I'm looking at what he recommends and seeing how that can benefit uh, people with whatever. Whatever mindset you have, whether you want to be investing, dividend, or uh, option trading. But uh, from what I can tell so far, a lot of the, the stuff uh, stocks that he recommends are, are more for a dollar cost average kind of mindset. So basically buy them to, because they're probably going to be valuable, more, more valuable than they are now in the future. So... Uh, Today, I'm going to be looking at first the dividends and of NVIDIA, and then we're going to be looking at it on an investing standpoint, and we're going to look at charts, and then we're going to be looking at the formula I used, and we're going to see if it can benefit you to do options trading with this stock. So let's get started. Okay, so the price right now is uh, $420 for one share of NVIDIA. It's not a cheap stock to own. So let's look at the dividends real quick. So it looks like it is a quarterly. It pays out in... Well, this is all kind of... You know it's not... I thought it would be jumbled, but we got uh, March, June, and September it looks like, and then November. So four, four months a year it pays you dividends. But the dividends don't look worth it in my opinion because look way back here it was 16 cents and now it's four cents uh, you're basically paying 420 dollars for a passive four cents every couple of months so to me the dividends isn't worth it so what we need to look at to see is is investing in this worth it to hold uh to just hold the video stock Okay, so let's just go and look at this on the weekly and see what the last all-time high was with NVIDIA. Let's go a little bit further. Okay, so it looks like NVIDIA is in its highest moment of uh, price. That's you know, It's gone up. So you can see that the stock... Even if you look at this on a weekly basis and you draw a trend line here, there, it's not perfect, but it's not a perfect trend line, but you can see that it is a trailing uh, as far as the direction on a weekly standpoint, you can see that it's been going up. So this stock is going up in value. But right now, it might be due for a dip, but if we look at it on the hour. Long term, it looks like it's going up. Uh, but short term, you might have a little bit of pullbacks here and there. But anyway, in my opinion of just buying the stock to just invest in the stock, because it, has a, it looks like it's a trend going up, it looks like... But right now, it looks like it might pull back a little bit, because... It's been going up so much, but yeah, it, it just depends on the point that you get in. I would, my opinion, do not, it's not financial advice. Uh, I would dollar cost average my way into uh, NVIDIA if I were to, if I wanted to get into this stock. So let's look at this now from, uh, with a option trading uh, mindset here. And what I like looking at is I will either trade on the day. Well, I usually do it on the hour, but I lately I've also been looking at the day. And there's certain there's certain 
ways it has to look for me to do it on the day and it, it has to cross the RSI and this kind of looks a little choppy to me on the day so let's just see how it looks on the hour okay let's just do this for example okay so what I like doing and I talk about this in every video is I get my moving averages and I set it at 5 and 8 and I also have my R side. So what I want to do is I make a line every time the R side crosses. So I'll make a note. I'll make a note of that right here. And we'll do a couple of them. Do one right here. You see the R side crossing here. You do another cross right here. And it crossed, kind of crossed right here. And then we got crossed right here. And let's do two more here. Crossed right here. And it crossed right here. This will be the last one I do. Okay. So what we want to look for is on the hour. You want to base it on the RSI. And it helps to turn off the candles because the candles will be just a little distracting. What you want to look for is you want to look for a match. You want to look for the RSI and the moving averages to be exactly the same. So... If the RSI is going up, you want to see the moving average go up as well. So that is a signal to get into that trade. So let's look at this first one here. We see that NVIDIA has a crossed right here. So this right here would probably be the moment of getting in. We would have done a 407 call or around there or probably a 406, somewhere around there. And we just ride this out. And this was three days, and it had a $18 difference in price. So let's go check Robinhood and see what an $18 difference in price is. Okay, so we're going to, we're in NVIDIA. Let's go and check. Let's see what a $18 difference in price is. Now you can see, uh, from what, you know, what I talked about yesterday was, um, was uh, MicroStrategy and to buy these contracts, at least the ones that will make you the best profit, uh, they're ranking about the same price. So you're looking at about a thousand bucks for a contract. So keep that in mind. Uh, the ones I recommend are doing one of the top two here, either you know the you know the 420 or the 417. So let's look at the thousand dollar contract here, and. It was basically what how much how much price difference was that that was uh eighteen dollars price difference so your your break even point well this isn't exact let's just find the uh the uh, eighteen dollars so let's do four twenty seven plus eighteen four twenty seven plus eighteen so we were looking at four forty five we're looking at four forty five Let's see if we find 4.45. Okay, that it doesn't doesn't meet it up to. Let's just do the math and see what we get for a dollar difference. Uh, that's the only best way to find out. Okay, so we're we're looking at 4.28, 4.28.50. Okay, around there. So you get about yeah, you get about a hundred bucks. Uh, for every dollar that you're right. So it's pretty much like the micro strategy stock. Same thing as I covered yesterday. It's about it's about the micro strategy. It's about the same. You get about a hundred bucks for every for, for every dollar that you're right. So, so what we can look for is with this trade right here, which erased, but let's just see here. It was 18. So this trade right here was about 
it was about 18, so that 18 times 100 here, 18 times 100 would have been 1800. That is an 1800 dollar move. Okay, so let's check the next one here. Now we turn off, we turn off the candles. We can see it better. Now what the RSI is telling us at this moment is it's a downtrend, and the moving average is telling us it's a downtrend. So this is a match. It would be a, a play to do. It would be a very brief play. But basically, let me just show you this real quick. From here to here. So this is a four dollar difference in price. So we're looking at about this is about four hundred and forty four dollars. Now, how do you know? Once you have a trade, how do you know to get back in? Okay, so if you follow, once you're in the trade, once you follow the RSI, and if the RSI gets anywhere close to look like it's going to come back up through the the uh, the RSI, now I would I would personally just take profit when I have profit, but uh, you want to ride it out. You you know you. If it crosses back up, then you need to you know start getting out. Okay, let's try uh, let's try this other one here. Okay, so we see now this this is an example of a bad trade, and I would not be doing this trade. the The RSI is saying up, but the moving average is saying down. So this would result into a bad trade. So this is one I wouldn't take. So let's check the next one. Okay, so this next one, the RSI is saying downtrend. The moving average is it, it doesn't start the moving it doesn't start the downturn till later, so I probably wouldn't have got into this trade. It looks it, it's sideways a little bit, then it starts going down, but I personally wouldn't go into this trade, but let's just check it anyway to see what it gets. But I personally wouldn't do this trade. So let's just check it anyway. You wrote that out. It took five days to make. Well, if you wanted to wait, this is a $30 difference in price. That's about $3,000. $3, if you wanted to wait and take that risk, but this is too risky for me because I don't see any indication in the moving averages to do that trade. Yeah, I, I want to see the indication very early on. Okay, so the next one here. Let's try this next one. Here we got, what, three more? Okay. So this next one here is pretty simple. Uh, the RSI is signaling an uptrend, and the moving average is signaling an uptrend. So from here, we can get in, and we'll see how much this is. From here all the way up here. Now we want to do probably seven days max, so uh, any more than that. So we're going to do, well, there's no seven days. Four days is fine. This is a $45 difference in price, so this is, this is about, this is about a $4,500 move here. So let's check this one right here. We got a small small pump here. We see that the RSI is pointing up. We see the moving average. Let's just turn off the candle to see when it, when it actually happens. Okay, so it happens. I want the cross to happen right around the same time the RSI is crossing. So this to me is a little late. I personally wouldn't do this trade, but let's just check it anyway. So you get in right about here, we ride it out. This is still a twelve dollar difference in price, so that's about that's about uh, one thousand two hundred right there. But you know, I personally wouldn't do this trade because I don't see the signal with the moving average. Okay, let's let, let's check this small one. Okay, so this is going to be the last one I do. Um, this small trend here. We see that the move, uh, the RSI is pointing down, and we see the moving average is pointed down. So to me, this is a good trade, 
we ride it out and this is about a $12 difference in price so this is about 1200 bucks so NVIDIA to me is a very good candidate for options trading so anyway NVIDIA seems if you were to look at this I would personally from what we saw in the charts NVIDIA has a, a trend long term it's been going up so it's a good uh, stock in my opinion to hold uh, for dividend investing it does not look that good you don't get much back from just holding the stock uh, from if you want to trade it with options trading it it's pretty good uh, it's pretty similar to yesterday's video but yesterday's video the micro strategy stock is it was more based in Bitcoin so there's more more chances of um, bigger gains I believe but with Nvidia you can still find those moments of good gains you know we did find moments of you know 1200 2000 so doing options trading with uh, NVIDIA it seems like a good, good candidate as well. Uh, I When I do trades, I look at it on the hour, but if I find it on the day, you, you'll get better results. I didn't do it on the day because uh, people want to make, you know, they want to make gains daily, but I do a lot. Personally, I, I, I look at it on, on the day first, and, you know, if, if, it's not, if it's not crossing, you know, I use the same strategy, but if it's not crossing on the day, uh, I'll definitely go down to the hour or the four hour and look. But anyway, uh, NVIDIA seems like a good stock to have. Uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend it for, you know, uh, investing, uh, option trading, not so much for dividends. But anyway, this is not uh, financial advice. Uh, do your own research. Anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in future videos.